Okay, this is a little how-to of my icicle lights. I'm actually converting them into 20 channels. As you can see, they're the basic big W lights. Um, they're two channels via a controller with them. Um, what I'm actually going to do is cut between every two um, strings. That's how they're wired and I'll run a wire back to the very um, start which will mean I'll run about 20 wires all up. Now what I basically do is there's the actual strings now what I'll do is with every one of these I can't really get a very good close up there is a wire out of here that will run back way to the start because this is the very end so we start from the end going back I do leave the power on when I'm doing it so that means I know if I've chopped the right wire or if I've chopped the wrong wire now I've just found that one to be this wire right here now what I like to do with this one is because this is the very end string I'll take it and take it all the way back up which is normally a couple of strands up and it keeps on going up as you can see I don't actually have much room at the moment but oh well that's just normal building okay now that's the wire I need and it will actually go into another section just up here so I'll just cut it say with an inch to go now what that's just done if I backtrack it all the last end is now dead and to make that one go on or off that's why that I'll be triggering then we do the same for this string right here that one's there you just follow the cables, that's all it is. Try not to get mixed up with the cables because it's very easy to. Because I'm doing all my cable joins in the one spot, I'll probably be snipping it right here. And <clears throat> by the looks of that, I did the wrong cut. See what happens when filming as well as talking? Okay, so that means I need to rejoin that, work out the proper wire, and redo it again. Okay, we're back again. What I've just done, I just uh, twisted the wires together, and that made my light set light back up again. Very simple like that. Now, I have worked out what the proper wire is, which is that one. Now I've got the last two lots out, but I now have two control wires. Now I do it with the last string, normally a little bit easier. Now I don't want to go all the way up there because I'm making sure the cable connects there. So what I normally do, I'll cut it about halfway, which has killed that section. And I'll bend that back. So I now have my one, two, three control wires. Now then three control wires I'll run all the way back to the very start of it where I'm getting my power source from. I have already done one. This is just a look of all the sorts of cables you'll actually have but when you're neaten it all up and I've put um, tape marks every two sections that's my whole 20 channels and then at the end you've got all your wires and that's where I'll put my controller and that will control the whole lot Okay, well, 
we've got the um, str uh, LED iSchool strand right across the desk at the moment and as you can see there's them three wires that I said that needed to be hooked up and this one goes all the way back that way I've just temporarily uh, twisted the cables together because I like to make sure they all work along the way that's just me now what we do I've tinned um, what's it, both ends of a wire we just get a heat shrink and then all we do is just solder the wire together and cover it up and we do that over and over and over for 20 times 3 channels so that's 60 watt um, soldering. So by the time you do one set of icicle lights, you should be bloody good at soldering. It's a good demo anyway. This is now my second string. I've still got another string to build, so that will make it free in total. So good luck, and I hope to see more strands like this out there. Okay, I've soldered two of the wires up. Now, if you remember at the very start, I clipped three wires. The third wire actually was this one and pointed the other way what I actually do is unwind the wire even more and I'll actually make the solder connection on this side so I've got one there and two there what I've done there is insulation tape just after it I'll probably insulation tape it again then after I've got it all working I'll then cable tie it and make sure it's all secure